Live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering HPE Discover 2017. Brought to you by Hewlett Packard Enterprise. Hey, welcome back everyone. We are live here in Las Vegas for theCUBE. Silicon Angle's flagship program, got through the to extract the signal from the noise. I'm John Furrier with Dave Vellante. We just had Meg Whitman up here, Dave. Our next guest, <laughs> CEO, another uh -huh. CEO, Peter McKay with CEO of Veeam. Welcome to theCUBE, congratulations thank on you. all your success and great party last night. No, thank you, it was a good, good party. You know, Veeam always has a good party, so it's been, uh, it's been a great event. This has been uh, really action-packed from the time we got, we got here yesterday. Right. It really speaks to the uh, change of HPE. Um, you guys are a big time sponsor, great booth space here, your presence yeah. uh, is here, and you're, you're in that ecosystem yeah. now and doing very well. Explain for a minute why that's happening. Why is Veeam such a prominent role at HPE this year? You know, I, I, first, I think culturally, the companies really work well together. Um, uh, a lot of our customers, uh, whether it's enterprise or commercial, kind of that mid-tier market, um, have been asking for more solutions. And we're part of it. We're, we're the software, HP's the hardware component that we bring together. And it's really uh, made it easier for our customers to, to buy a solution versus trying to buy a particular, uh, you know, all the pieces and having to pull that together. So it, it, it's really worked out well for both, both organizations as we expand. Well, you know, a couple, Peter, a couple more zeros to your revenue number <laughs> and you'll be running a company the size yeah. of Megs. Now, of course. Soon. Yeah, right. Now, of course, uh, Veeam brought you in really yeah. for the, to the next level. I mean, yeah. and, and new management, new, new messaging. Uh, we heard a lot of that at Veeamon. One of the things you talked about, what I liked about your messaging at Veeamon is everybody talks about digital transformation. Yeah. What you did is you pinpointed it around always on availability. I right. wonder if you could share with our audience and sort of summarize what you were talking about there. Yeah, you know, it's, uh, you know in the software world, we've lived through a lot of transitions from mainframe to client server to, to uh, cloud all the way through. And, um, you know, everybody's going through, as you said, this transformation. And the ability for applications or data to be accessible at any time, any place. Used to be that everybody backs up. Now it's about recovery. It's about all your apps and all your data, all your services to be available seven by 24, 365. And so it's now become, just like security was when, you know, in the earlier, when it was kind of an afterthought, now it's a forethought. It's, you're, look at, we're pushing more applications, they're more agile, it's going to go down. You can bank that uh, British Airways, I mean, it's been the, you know, a huge issue. One guy pulls a plug, next thing you know, it's $100 million. So for us, it's now become mission critical what we do. And, and that's where this digital transformation, as kids getting, getting older, and they're entering this workforce that only know the digital life, want an always on environment. They're not going to be gonna be satisfied with a world that is you know, a bad service, where it's down and I have to go to some other spot. So it's this convergence of you know, companies making this transformation in this new group of users that are coming online that only know a digital life. And that's kind of where we see it all coming together for Veeam. So that's a great vision, and, and we've talked in the past about you know, the ascendancy of Veeam was around you know, VMware backup, you're, you're, you're transitioning that messaging into, as you say, recovery and always yeah. on availability. It seems like there's a huge market for this inter-cloud, multi-cloud management. Yeah. Your vision there is any combination of use cases, on-prem, off-prem, bringing it down from SaaS. So yeah. I wonder if you could talk about that strategy, that white space, which is really jump ball in the industry it right is. now. It is, so for companies today, they have, all, they have options. They want to have options, right? They want to have the ability, I want to be able to, I want to be able to back up and recover our on-premise data from my internal data center, um, or managed cloud, like managed service, um, or in a public cloud. So I want to be able to back up but also recover from any of those environments and move it, right? There may be some applications, Office 365 that's in the cloud, but I want to be able to back up or recover on premise. And so it's opened up a lot of flexibility for customers that don't want to have it all on prem, that for some, for some of their data, they can put it in the cloud. For some of it, they want to have a very specific service provider that has a security or a vertical expertise, they want to go with them. Um, but either way, they want to be able to access that data anywhere it is, on any infrastructure. What's the business relationship? How are you guys doing? What's the connection this year? And, and, and just take a minute to describe that for the Yeah, folks. no, it's, uh, it's really evolved from a purely a deep technical relationship where you know, all of our, uh, our technology integrates with all the different HP stack. 
Um, but it's evolved as more customers wanted more solutions. They want more of the packaging coming together as, uh, as a bundle or, a, or even appliances. Um, we've been working closer on the go-to-market side where our partners were kind of pulling these together. And so in November, we announced a joint, a global reseller agreement, kind of OEM agreement with HP that allows HP now and HP partners to resell Veeam as a solution with HP hardware, together or separate into an HP customer. And so that's been a, a win for HP because they focus on a data protection solution and you it's know, good for always their portfolio. On. I mean, they get another club it, in their bag, so to speak. Yeah. You guys get <laughs> a, a nice that, pop. The, the brand in their in their in their channel, right? And so I think you know the the data protection story and the solutions that HPE can bring together is really compelling. And for us, you know, they've got a broad uh, go-to-market organization that we can leverage. Well, you kind of need each other. I mean, you're coming up market. I mean, the, the story of Veeam is actually quite amazing. You booked over half a billion dollars, I think 600 million last year. 607, yep. Never taken the dime of outside capital, nope. which is uh, astounding. Yep. Um, I guess ostensibly you want to remain private is sort of the, the, the narrative, but you really don't, you know, don't stress um, we're, about we're that. We're owned by two people. So, yeah. right? It's, it's <laughs> pretty simple, and uh, you know, they brought me in to grow a, a long-term sustainable software company. Right, that's my job, that's what I do every day. Um, what they want to do at some point in time in the future, that's really up to those two. So how does, a company, how does a company go from you know, standing start to over half a billion with no outside capital? It, you know, great, great technology. I mean, I think from day one, if you've known Veeam, you know that the technology has always been, we use we used the saying, it just works, and our customers will say it, and we have a very, loyal customer base, 73% NPS, 73 was our score in NPS, which went from 63 to 73. Um, so customer loyalty, strong. Um, good culture, good company. We've added 1,000 1, people over the last 12 months. We're going to add another 800 over the next. So good company, good people. 45,000 partners that we've added across the globe. So and, and you showed a slide at, at Veeamon, which I want to share with the audience. Again, it was astounding. It, it, it was Workday, Salesforce and ServiceNow. Yeah. And essentially you showed that you're actually going to achieve, you know, on track to achieve faster. A, a billion faster than those companies. Yeah. That's, our go that's our goal, 2018, to get there. Uh, you know, we're going to, you know, it's 800 to a billion. I mean, that's our internal goal, right? I came in, set a high bar, and we're all working towards that. And that's, you know, I, we're on track. Well, you, you share know? that, you're transparent about it, which is kind of unique. You know, we, we, I'm our, we did it with our partners in a more detail with our partner ecosystem, so they know what we're trying to do and what we're expecting of them, right? Because this, this is how it has to work. This is, yeah, a this shared is interest there, everyone wants that. We are, we're 100% channel, right? So it's not like we're taking these deals direct and we're going to take this, it's, it's well, a channel. Well, you know the channel, you head fake the channel once you're done. I mean, they really got to be straight up with them yeah. and make them money too. <laughs> and just like our customers, our partners are extremely loyal to Veeam. All right, I got to ask you, we see you a lot at uh, VMworld, and we've yeah. got that coming up, theCUBE will be there live. Um, obviously their deal with Amazon points to the hybrid cloud. Yeah. That's the story here. Um, hybrid and cloud certainly changed the game on, on, on backup recovery, all aspects of storage yes. and the software. What's your vision there and share with the folks the, the, what that means to, for them as they think about their architectures. It, what it means to VMware? No, what it means to the customer oh, who's sitting customer. there going, okay, I've seen all the signals, I got VMware, we're, you know, now I'm seeing it with Amazon, yeah. the relationship, that's a hybrid cloud uh, path. I, I think that was a good, you know, up till, I think up till a little while, up till that announcement, I think it was, you know, a lot of the kind of niche use cases, a lot more of the kind of simple workloads were going into Amazon and Azure. Um, but not, of the, not a lot of the mission critical were kind of moving in that direction yet. Um, with VMware moving to uh, 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 Amazon, it's opened up the door because now you know, all of them are using you know, vSphere as part of their mission critical app. So now it's kind of like the door has been open to moving more of these mission critical into Amazon, which I think was a, a great move for VMware, great move for Amazon because they want the mission critical. VMware wants to stay every, keep everybody on vSphere and for us, we're, we're extremely close and tight to VMware, and, and we're moving closer to Amazon. So it's a win for us, and we'll be the first yeah. to be in that environment. I saw the magician out there on the floor, from all these Benjamins throwing the money around. You guys are doing very well. You're making yeah. some, um, 
some money for your partners as well on the channel. Yeah. It's a great strategy. Your observation here at HPE Discover, what's, what's your observation of what's happening here at the event uh, and, and some of the, the takeaways? Yeah, you know, I, I've, uh, so when I started my career, big company, then I did three kind of earlier stage and then back to big companies, VMware and in here. And you know, the, the, the line we always used in kind of building a business is focus, focus, focus. And I think what I see is HPE more focused. More focused than ever. It's a tighter message. It's the, the, the vision that they have is so much more clearer. Um, and that's just not my observation. That's what I, the feedback I get from the ecosystem and the customers that we're talking to, that they like it. It's, it's allow, it's, it allows them to get a much clearer understanding of the HPE direction and where they're going. Right. And, place in their and top three priorities for you guys at Veeam over the next uh, course of the next six to 12 months, your, your goals for the company. So, um, so we look at it in, in terms of the, the pillars. Obviously the, the enterprise is a major investment area around the globe that we're going, going to, as, you, as you said, to go upstream. Um, and so we, we used to do purely virtual, as you mentioned, now we do physical, now we do you know, cloud extension, so we have all that. We think we have the platform for the enterprise uh, and not to say we don't want to continue to do that, but enterprise is number one. Cloud, um, and obviously it's having that ability for customers to move workloads anywhere, kind of that orchestration of those workloads, that's a critical initiative for us. Um, and then for me, it's, look at the business is going well, don't screw it up. <laughs> you know, keep the S&B going, keep the commercial. Hands on the wheel, hold yeah, it straight. Do all this other good stuff, but don't drop the ball on the other side. Because, you know, it's like, what do they say about a doctor? First, do no harm. Do no harm to the business, and yeah. then grow it over here. Yeah. And, and that's your role, and your co-CEO's role is to really keep that innovation engine going, yes. right? I mean, near CDP, and like you say, bare metal. I mean, that's the uh, development yes. track that. Yeah, that, and I think, you know, we, you will see us kind of expanding that a little bit, and maybe not, maybe some inorganic. Um, you know, we've, we've acquired, we've accumulated a nice balance sheet uh, that allows us to do some creative things that maybe we'll talk about in the, the road. We announced one N2WS, which is a company that was in the Amazon yes. uh, uh, marketplace that has opened up some opportunities for us. We're going to continue to invest and acquire as we go to complement some of the things that we've been doing uh, very successfully on organic growing. Amazing. Peter McKay, co-CEO of Veeam. Uh, thank you for coming on theCUBE and sharing your insight and, and thanks for uh, the commentary. More live coverage from HPE Discover 2017 after this short break, stay with us.